Hey guys, it's Katie from Mattress Clarity, and today we're gonna talk about the three ways to fluff your pillow. You can fluff it by hand, fluff it in the dryer, or throw it outside to fluff it. Did you know there was more than one way? So yeah, we're gonna talk about all that, including which pillows are a good fit based on their construction and materials. We're gonna use this awesome Layla pillow for examples and demonstrations today. Thank you so much to the folks at Layla, not only for giving us their awesome pillow to work with, but for also financially supporting this video. This pillow is a mix of K-pop fibers and shredded memory foam pieces. So it's gonna be awesome to show you just how fluffy we can get it. Let's get started. So let's start with the most traditional way to fluff your pillow, which is using your hands. Hand fluffing is a great option for pillows that have pieces in there, um, things that you can break up and allow air to come in and add that loft, add that height, and of course, fluff your pillow. So think down, down alternative, which is often polyester microfibers or any sort of microfiber. Um, in this case, this pillow is K-Pok fibers, which is a down alternative, and shredded memory foam pieces. So there's lots of areas that this can clump together and compress over time, especially if your head is in one position for many nights and it's so easy to use your hands to fluff your pillow. So all you're going to do is start out by putting your hands on the short side of your pillow and basically pushing in and out like you're playing an accordion or something. So just push in, come back out, push back in again, and then take your hands and put on the long side and do the same thing. So you're just working this area right now and then if you've got a pillow, especially ones that has shredded foam pieces in it and you want to work out some clumps, just dig your hands into the whole pillow and sort of massage it. This is really just creating a lot of space for air, allowing a lot of height to get in there. And hopefully you can already see that we've sort of fluffed the pillow pretty easily. Another great option for fluffing your pillow is using the dryer. This is gonna work for pillows with pieces inside. Again, down, down alternative, poly microfiber, shredded latex, shredded foam, K-pop fibers, things that have pieces that are getting compressed or flattened by your head overnight that need to be opened up and manipulated. The dryer is gonna do that by essentially moving your pillow around inside. I will say before you throw it in your dryer, make sure you read your care instruction tag. More often than not, you can tumble dry your pillow. A lot of brands will let you do that, but some say don't. So make sure you check that first. Now I will say something that does help speed up the process a little bit is throwing one or two tennis balls and a couple of tube socks in with your pillow and allowing that to bounce off your pillow inside the dryer. It's gonna break up those clumps, allow for more air, and allow your pillow to dry faster. The last and maybe lesser known way to fluff your pillow is to actually put it outside. So I often recommend this if you've got a pillow that comes compressed, maybe rolled up, especially if it's got foam pieces that are tightly wound. So when you open up that packaging, you get the expansion of the foam and often you'll get this like new foam, new pillow smell. And if you've got sensitivities or if it's just too overwhelming, put your pillow outside, allow it to naturally fluff. You've got that great ventilation from the outdoors, you've got the breeze and even some sunshine will do your pillow a lot of good. Of course, that will work for more than just shredded foam pillows, down, down alternatives, all different types will definitely benefit from like a more natural air fluff. So why is it important to fluff your pillow? If you think about it, your pillow is such an important part of your sleep health. Your positioning of your head and your neck and even your spine is all part of how good you feel when you wake up in the morning. If you have the right pillow at the right loft and the right firmness, it's all really gonna come together for you in the morning. If your pillow's old and flat, if it's dirty and flat, if it's not fluffed up and, and in that proper position for you I mean, with its performance the way it should be, then you're gonna probably have some sleep issues. So of course, it's important to keep it fluffed. It's also important to fluff it if you just got it in the mail, if it came compressed, it needs maybe some foam pieces need to expand, the down needs to be fluffed. That's important as well. You really need to follow the care instructions for your pillow, especially if they tell you to throw it in the dryer or to leave it outside to ventilate when you first get it. And last but not least, natural components in pillows, say down feathers, down K-pop fibers, they need to breathe. They need ventilation, they need air. It's important to get air into your pillow occasionally. I would say, Fluff your pillow as often as you want, but at least once a quarter when you're supposed to rotate that mattress you have. So there's two potential issues that people tend to come across when trying to fluff their pillow, and they're usually centered around the washer and dryer. First of all, follow the care instructions when you're drying your pillow. If it says low tumble dry, low tumble dry. Especially if you have a down pillow, do not turn that heat on high because you will soon smell burn feathers, and that is a nasty smell, believe me, I know, because I accidentally did it once. Also, people think, oh, I need to fluff my pillow. That means I need to wash it and dry it. This may seem obvious, but they're two separate things. Fluffing your pillow and cleaning your pillow are two different things. If your pillow needs to be 
fluffed and it can't get any fluffier because it's so dirty, of course wash it, follow the care instructions, but make sure it is dry as possible. More often than not, pillows need multiple times in the cycle in the dryer to get fully dry, especially if there's clumps or pieces in there, down, down alternative, those tiny microfibers, throw some tennis balls in there, let it get beat up in the dryer, give it a, you know, dry it more than maybe it needs to be dried because your pillow will not function at its best if it's still damp. All right, there you have it. Those are the three main ways to fluff your pillow. I hope you learned something in this video. Comment below and let me know, do you like to hand fluff it? Do you prefer to let your dryer do that fluffing or do you leave your pillow outside? I'm always checking back, so don't hesitate to comment and let me know if you've got any questions. Of course, if you're interested in the Layla pillow, in the description below, there's a link to the full review, so make sure to check that out. And if you're interested in other pillow reviews, all you gotta do is Google Mattress Clarity plus Best Pillows and it'll be the first link that pops up. That's it for now. If you wanna check out more content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.